Michelle likes it. <laughs> the first lady likes it. It's all. It's all. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. The interview from I've up and come. There we go. I'm here. Because I always felt that Akeborn has never been put into that category of the great playwrights. The blondes know how to throw a party, and that their very downtown fashion show on Tuesday night, Philippe Blonde got things rocking. Amazing, had no idea what to expect. I saw, you know, a stuffed gorilla and I didn't know that there was going to be a fierce tranny underneath it. <laughs> Amazing. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You are watching Pop Rap Drop. We're standing in a shower. Yeah, that's happening right now. Look, we, like, what are these chairs doing? Hi. Yeah. Yo, we're just, we got some wine up in here, Hang everybody. Up. I want to like lay uh, like <laughs> underneath the covers and watch Lifetime movies with Adele <laughs> that all day long. That sounds awesome. Theodore Rutherford was the first black person, the first black woman to get into Columbia Business School. And this is in the 1920. Her classmates then did not want to study with her. And she finally found a couple of people who were willing to study with her, but they would not eat with her in public. 23 years after she was abducted, Carlina White is home again. Back in 1987, Carlina, just 19 days old, was kidnapped from Harlem Hospital by a woman who recently lost her own pregnancy, then disguised herself as a nurse. Then nobody know, because she was pregnant and she came back with me. Marcus Garvey Park in Harlem was the starting point for an eight mile long barefoot marathon on Wednesday, where approximately 50 people showed up ready to run to Greenpoint, Brooklyn without running shoes. A woman was arrested on Tuesday for spray painting over a controversial ad hanging in the Times Square 42nd Street subway station. 45-year-old Mona Altahawi claimed the ad, which equates some Muslim radicals with savages, promotes racism. She got into a scuffle with another woman who tried to shield the poster. Four days after Superstorm Sandy touched ground, Staten Island is far from recovered. Devastating images like this show cars tossed like toys. It wasn't probably until towards the end of the, the afternoon before Tower 7 was going to fall and they called us all out of the pit that I was putting the cameras down and, and really sort of had a moment of you know, sort of scope of kind of hitting. It may seem like this man is digging up dirt, but in fact, he's mining for gold and precious gems in the heart of the Diamond District in Midtown. That's a diamond right there. 